Good evening from San Juan, Puerto Rico. I've been wanting to come here for years, ever since I, I saw videos about the Pork Highway, the Lachon Highway in Puerto Rico. I've been wanting to come here. Finally here, it's the middle of December and it is hot and it is humid. Staying at the Double Tree tonight, mainly just for the warm cookie. No, oh, it's just. This is the best part of the double trip. No, you eat this, go find some dinner. First restaurant I'm eating at in Puerto Rico, El Nuevo Acurio. I think what I'm supposed to get is the uh, lobster empanada and then a Caribbean lobster. I never had a Caribbean lobster before. Christine here is the Caribbean expert, so it's really different. Yeah, it's tougher and then it's not as sweet as main lobster. So on the menu, calamari, ceviche looks good. Meat sampler? I am so excited about this. This place is so popular, absolutely full. So we're sitting here with a view of the parking lot. It's too bad it's dark right now. We're like literally on this little like nook, little island nook right now. So we're surrounded by the ocean. And I'm the only person who brought a jacket. I needed the pockets. Check out this plate of seafood. So we got ceviche, firecracker grouper, mofungo balls, and calamari, this calamari looks like it's got some heat on it. Oh, that grouper's got some heat. I mean, it's tender. The outside is a little crispy, but so much flavor on this thing. Oh, it's burning my throat a little bit now. Ceviche, of course, must get. Delicious. Oh, that seafood is just so tender. Fried calamari. Everything, one similar tray. The seafood is just oh so, so tender. I mean everything, crunchy on the outside, tender on the inside, absolutely delicious, flavor perfectly. Well, fungal balls, I never had this before. This is like a fried plantain ball. Whoa, that's amazing. It's just like a ball of fried mashed potatoes, only better, more flavorful, texture is better. This is great. All right, but what I heard I have to get at this place is this, the lobster, but not us. This stuff is supposed to be piping hot. Oh, this one's got a big chunk of lobster in here. This is the sauce. Oh, that is good. This thing, light, flaky, slightly sweet. Hints of some guava, and I think the white stuff is melty cheese to give it a little more creamy flavor. Never had a seafood empanada before. I'm glad that was my first one. Giant lobster tail, jumbo shrimp, calamari, sitting on a bit of plantains. Oh, this is a, such a pretty lobster tail. Look how, look how beautiful this is. Oh, oh that's good. Mmm. Again, Caribbean lobster, a little more briny, less sweet than Maine lobster. That enveloped in this creamy, citrusy, buttery sauce. It's just utter perfection. Mmm. Do a little surf and turf. Got some skirt steak as well. Oh, that is cooked perfectly. Oh. Wow. I'm gonna like that more than a lobster. Wow. Perfect crust on the outside. Beautifully tender and smoky. Steak is so juicy. The sauce is buttery, also citrusy because it's tamarind in here. My oh, sauce is perfect. I mean, I like the lobster. I love this steak. Rice and beans. All right, gotta hurry up and eat and head back to the hotel because tomorrow, bright and early, heading to the island of Vieques. Flying to the island of Yekes today. Um, so if you guys are ever doing this, here's how it kind of works. You get to Puerto Rico, then can either take a ferry or take a flight over there. But if you do take a ferry, the ferry has priority for locals. And if you do ever want to go to Vieques, book your flight as soon as you possible. When we booked it, there's only a couple seats left. And it's not the same airport that you fly in from the mainland. It's a different airport, right? Seba Airport. Seba Airport. And then your luggage can't be over 25 pounds or they charge you extra. 
So this is the first time we, we just travel with backpacks. But VAK is supposed to be absolutely gorgeous. It's supposed to have the bio... What is it? Bioluminescent base. Are we going canoeing at night? Tonight. Oh yeah, it's gonna be awesome. Here we are, 10 minute flight. Faster than our Uber ride yesterday. So on the island, you have to book your taxi in advance. We didn't really book anything in advance either. All right, our mode of transportation while on the island, this is it. Uh, these, like everything is rented like, like a month ahead of time. So we were lucky to get a scooter, one scooter. Luckily, it's not gonna rain, whole time. This is our Airbnb. Wow. I wonder if pandas live here because a lot of bamboo is beautiful. Yeah. Wow. Oh, you walk in and there's an outside courtyard, more bamboo. Oh, look at this. Sofas. Wow. Kitchen, outdoor kitchen right there, silverware plates. Look at that. That's a nice little lounge area. Fans right there pool and the ocean is right over there oh so these are the bedrooms Whew. look at that each one has a bathroom and this is the master whoa look at this that's the bed and it's just completely open i never seen like this before wow completely open huh they don't have air conditioning here because you don't really need it. Hammock here, I have the exact same hammock. Yeah. I do. Wow, look at this. Sink here, you can just chill and enjoy that. Wow, so five bedrooms, one down here. Right. This is the fridge. Yeah. This is the size of my first New York apartment. I know. Woo! That is uh, every single bug <laughs> repellent under the sun. <laughs> Because in this house, you don't close windows. Well, that's the tour of this place. It's basically a concrete tin, as they put it. Um, so everything is just open. I already got bit like three times. It's only been about 20 minutes. So the reason we're getting such a big place is uh, spending the holidays here um, with the whole entire family. They're about to arrive tomorrow. And um, it's my birthday. So I wanted to get a nice place for the family for Christmas. And this is it. Now, let's see what there's to eat on this island. There's wild chickens and horses everywhere. This is, we're trying to look for this cafe that's right by the beach. Whoa! We found a family of horses. There's a little one right there. So the last restaurant wasn't open today, but this one's nearby. Lizzie's Lunchbox. Get some fish tacos. And before the tacos get here, a big thank you and shout out to Surfshark VPN for sponsoring this video and continuing to support this channel. I've been talking about and using Surfshark for over two years now because it's something I find extremely useful. It's something I use every single day. People nowadays are traveling more. You're connected to a lot of random Wi-Fi hotspots and these are not really secure. And these are really good opportunities for people to have access to your personal information. I give this example a lot. Whenever you're searching for something or talking to your friends about something, all of a sudden ads for whatever you're talking about
talking about or products for whatever is related to whatever you're talking about start appearing everywhere. That's people getting access to your personal information. And what a VPN is, is a virtual private network. And what Surfshark VPN does is that it secures and encrypts your data before it goes over the internet. So people who you don't want having access to your personal information, they won't have access to it. Surfshark also has something called Surfshark Alert. So whenever someone's trying to access something like your email, you're gonna get notified right away. Also, it's really useful for entertainment. If you wanna watch Netflix shows, movies from another country, just connect to a server in a different country and it's gonna trick Netflix into thinking that you're actually in another country so you can watch all their TV shows and movies. Also, if you're overseas, you wanna have access to US streaming services like Hulu or Crunchyroll, you can use Surfshark VPN for that as well. So if you wanna give it a try, go to my link down below. Use my promo code Mikey Chan. You're gonna get 83% off and four extra months for free. Plus, you can try it out for 30 days. If you don't like it for whatever reason, get your money back. Whoa, this is a good sized taco. That's a pretty good taco. Tons of meat, crunchy vegetables, sour cream. I like the micro greens here as well. Nice toasty flour tortilla too. A little hot sauce, just a tiny bit. Don't overdo it. Oh, even better. Oh, this fish taco is what I really wanted. Giant piece of avocado here as well, seasoning on top. Oh, this is good. I feel like there's some old bay seasoning on here. Incredibly citrusy. Yeah, hot sauce on every one of these. This is good. Shrimp is my favorite. Giant sweet pieces of shrimp. Made a little extra sweet for the tomatoes. Oh, the sprouts are a nice touch. Provides a little slight bitterness and spicy garlicky flavor. Kind of balance out the tomatoes and cuts the fattiness on the meat a little bit. Oh, this is the biggest one. This is gazpacho or salted cod. This thing, I don't even know how to pick it up. This thing is just loaded with ingredients. Whoa. I feel like you need a forklift to eat this. This is definitely the fishiest taco. The salted cod is cold. They said this is a more of a local flavor. I kind of wish I started out with this. I feel like it's more like a salad taco. Tons of veg, smoke, cold smoked cod mixed in between. Tomatoes, avocado, cilantro. Moment of silence for the fallen avocado. Mm. Six tacos down. I think it's time for lunch number two. It's the local grocery store near our house. Tons of water. Ooh, Kit Kats. And also I found this, La Fruta Creamy Coconut. I'm on an island, I should be eating coconuts. I've never been to the Caribbean. I obviously never stayed at a place like this. It's so surreal to be eating on Popsicle and looking out at that, especially during the middle of December. Got changed up and dinner tonight is at this place called El Canapo birthday dinner so uh, I want to just be able to eat as much as I can so we got three appetizers and two entrees and after I ordered a second entree the waiter walked off I wasn't done we need more entrees yeah sorry just got a third entree uh, got some noodles pasta I mean waiter looked really nervous when I asked for a third entree so I sense doubt I'm gonna just squish that appetizers here grilled octopus with some potatoes and I think some sausage Freshly baked for kasha with tomato balsamic, I think a little olive oil, and finally, cora prawns with a tomato cucumber salad. Look at this. Oh, this looks so good. Everything looks so good. Oh, I am so excited for bread. I, I need this. I deserve this. Oh, that's good, bread. Prawns are delicious. Light crispy shell, spicy too. Grilled octopus still, check it out. Mm. So deliciously tender. Birthday dinner, so far so good. Look at this. Giant prawns, chunks of fish, mussels, clams, all soaked in this tomatoes based broth. Mm. Oh, that's tender. This island, actually, 
Oh, Puerto Rico. I haven't had a bad bite of seafood. Mm. Oh, yeah. So happy I have this. Do not want to be wasting any of this sauce. I'll be lapping up every single drop of this. Entree number two. So this is the goat masala. Big chunks of gold, white rice, I think some paneer on the bottom. I think this is okay. The piece of gold I put in my mouth, at least, is not that tender, a little dry. Let me try some of these fatty pieces. A little better, still kind of dry. Paneer is awesome. I think this dish, all the flavors are really nice. It's spicy, it's smoky. So flavor great, texture needs a little work. Third entree, truffle fettuccine carbonara. Little walnuts and black shaped truffle on top. Oh, I love truffle. Oh, that flavor is so good. I think entrees are perfect. Seafood's a little spicy and acidic. Pasta's creamy. And the masala, well, it has rice. And I don't think I've ever had a single birthday that didn't involve rice. No, oh, gotta hurry up and eat because um, we're on a canoe trip in about 20 minutes. And the canoe trip's in a bay that glows at night. Who needs a birthday cake when you have chocolate torte? Mm, best birthday dinner ever, especially being able to enjoy it in a place like this. All right, gotta, gotta go to the bay that glows. So we're gonna be paddling out about 15 minutes to the Luminescent Bay. Um, this is really cool. Clear kayaks. I don't know if you can see right there. This is gonna be quite an experience. Full moon tonight as well. See? Okay. The moment the fish get, fish get bigger, uh -huh. we move back to the reef. We just got done with the bio bay tour. So I don't know how well this footage came out, but well, I, was, I was paddling out into the bay and the canoe had a glass bottom. So you could see like sparkles of light glowing under the canoe. It was like paddling like in the Milky Way or something. And then every time the paddle hits the water, it will just glow. Every time a fish swim by, you can see the fish glowing in the water. And this is all because of microorganism living inside the water called dinoflagellus. Apparently this bay attracts it because it's warmer it's shallower, it's saltier than other areas of water. I mean, it didn't glow as much as I thought it would because when you look at the photos, it, it looks like you're just paddling on a glowing lagoon, but it didn't really look like that. It just whenever the paddles go into the water or whenever something splashes into the water, then it starts glowing. Oh, by the way, the street lights in Puerto Rico, it's all red. And that's kind of cool because um, the reason they have that is because white street lights attracts sea turtles. So when the turtles are born, all the uh, baby turtles will crawl into the road because they think the white street lights look like the moon. So they made sure that all the lights, especially um, right by the beach, are all red so it doesn't attract any baby sea turtles. Good morning. Spent the first night here in paradise. Talk a little bit about how the night was. Really interesting. First of all, even though there's no air conditioning, this whole house is an open air concept. Like I said, basically a giant concrete tent. You can't even close the windows. So the cross breeze, especially with the ocean being right there, made it really cool last night. And you hear the waves crashing onto the beach. And then in the middle of the night, I woke up. There was a herd of horses galloping along that road down to the beach. Never experienced anything like this before. So amazingly surreal. Now the bad part, I've been to many a buffets in my day and last night there was an all you can eat buffet of my blood. I have about 30 mosquito bites um, from last night. I've been dousing myself with insect repellent. Even though there's a lot of wind, a lot of breeze, I was just bombarded by mosquitoes. So I woke up about three times reapplying um, insect repellent, still covered in bites. Also, for some reason, the roosters on this island are really, really just stupid. You know how normally roosters will crow when they see the sun? Here, roosters crow at 1.30 in the morning. So 1.30 in the morning, they start crowing and, and they just don't stop. I wish the colonel would move here, I really do. Anyway, I'm gonna try to find some scuba gear because the beach is right there 
and, and I want I want to see some fish. And they say there's there's a lot of mussels around here, so you can just gather a bunch of mussels and have yourself a meal. Out getting some scuba gear and uh, drove by this burger place, Gracias de Nada. Just saw in a corner of my eyes as we were scootering along. Got a good feeling about this place. I knew I had a good feeling about this place. That might be the best bite of food I had on this island so far. I'm not even kidding. Oh, this is so good. Mmm. Nicely charred patty. Patty is all sorts of juicy. Mustard, a perfect addition. Pickles brings the crunch. Get back to the trusty steed. But yeah, if you're ever on this island, go here and get a burger. Horse riding. This is Maxi. What's up, Maxi? First time I've been on a horse since Mongolia. Horse is a little taller than what I'm used to. They got ponies over there, little ponies. This is so fun. So fun. Leaving the AKs today, uh, heading to the beach one last time to the Black Sand Beach. So many, so many bug bites. You got nothing, right? I'm sweeter. Oh, yeah, sweet That's why I'm sweeter. <laughs> this is the famous black sand beach. So people come here and they put the sand on their face, on their body. It's, it's what? Magnetic. It's, magnetic. It's, magnetic? it's magnetic? Oh, that's cool. Yeah. You guys brought a magnet? <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. Cool, cool. Thanks. Look at this. Right here. Oh. It feels heavy. It feels really heavy. Like, it doesn't feel like normal sand. Feel this. Right? It feels like metal. I'm not putting it on my face. You put it on your face. This little ball here feels like about a pound. Wow. This is it's kind of cool. That's it. I've spent about four days here in paradise and just the most unforgettable experience of my life. <sighs> what a place. I mean, just look at this. Let's go back to San Juan. Downtown San Juan on Christmas. This is how they celebrate Santa buses and people on the streets like everywhere. Usually on Christmas, nobody's out, but here everyone's on the streets eating, drinking, having a good time. That's how they do it in Puerto Rico. And I got a giant pineapple pina colada. As always guys, thank you all so much for watching this video. Until we eat again and a belated Merry Christmas and a happy holidays. See you later.